Hello guys and gals, this is Shane Giese here with Street Volkswagen in Amarillo, Texas for another segment of Leasing with Giese. We've covered quite a few things so far up, up to now. Some of the objections, the overall leasing concept, how leasing works to save you money. But what I want to talk about today is something that somebody asked me just the other day. They said, hey Shane, I love the idea of leasing. I love how you've explained it'll save me money, but I don't understand the terms they use in the lease contract. So let's start off here. There are two people on the lease contract. The leasee, which is you, the person leasing the vehicle, and the lessor, that's the company that is actually leasing the vehicle to you, okay? So the leasee is you, the lessor is basically the bank. Then we start off with what we have is capitalized cost. Capitalized cost is the actual sales price that you've negotiated for the vehicle. Next, you have what's called capitalized cost reduction. Very fancy term for down payment. Down payment or anything that lowers the amount that you're going to be financing, which would be the down payment or rebates. Then you have the net cap cost. Now the net cap cost, or as they say, adjusted cap cost, is the sales price less the down payment and rebates. So, so that's basically where you start off the amount that you're gonna be financing. You have an acquisition fee, which is a bank fee, that the lessor charges for the dealership to set up the loan. That's going to be anywhere from $500 to $800, usually six to $700. The residual is the guaranteed future value of that vehicle. That's the agreed upon future value based on the miles and the depreciation determined by the lessor. Then last, of course, you have the depreciation. Now the depreciation is going to be the net cap cost, which was the sales price less down payment rebates, less residual. What's interesting about this is the depreciation is all that's going to show up on your credit bureau that you're financing. So let's say that the sales price was $25,000. You have a $1,000 rebate and you put $2,000 down, which brings it down to $22,000. So your net cap cost was $22,000, plus your fees and such, and you have residual of $10,000. The amount that you're gonna be financing is gonna be the $12,000 plus whatever fees and taxes are associated with it, let's say $14,000. So instead of borrowing $25,000 plus tax title and license, you're only borrowing the $14,000 and that's what's gonna show up on your credit bureau. That's the depreciation. Again, the net cap cost minus the residual, that's the amount that you're financing. The last thing we'll talk about real quick is the money factor. The money factor is the interest rate and it's very easy to calculate the money factor. The money factor multiplied by 2400 will give you the effective interest rate. So a money factor of 0 .0005 times 2400 comes to a 1.2% interest rate. As you can see, Fairly simple. Whoever devised this kind of tried to make it a little bit tricky and give a little bit fancy terms to this, but overall, they're just pretty simple terms. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at Street Volkswagen or leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Y'all have a great day.